that uh, DVD filling up was that Tim lives 15 or 20 minutes from civilization, less than that actually, yet he's surrounded by woods and his road ends, dead ends, at woods. That makes for a beautiful and quiet environment. And it's really pleasant staying out here. That's all I had to say. But do you think that disc could give me another 30 seconds to do it? Ixnay! The flowers get better with each passing day that I'm here. Why is that? Well, I guess they like me. Pretty roses. Well, I'm just killing some time waiting for Tim get here for Tim to get here cuz uh, I'm going down to uh, Hartville Kitchen with Buck and Terry and I'm kind of hoping that uh, Tim will go with me. But uh, He's not home from work yet, although he'll be home very soon. I hope. I don't know that he went was going to go anywhere after work. I should have said something to him this morning, but I didn't think of it. Testing. One, two, three. Testing. You ready? This, this has been a test. Had there been an actual emergency, this dude sitting in the picture right now would have torn off his clothes and run around the parking lot shrieking filthy words. There you go. Whoa. Hey, what are you going to have to eat tonight? Any idea? Um, I'm not sure yet. Maybe some roast beef. What time is it? It is 6.02. So, ooh, I didn't realize that we would get down here this quick. Buck and Terry aren't going to be here until 6.30. Well, we can probably go get a table, can't we? Uh, they might give us a table. Let's go. Let's at least go put our name in. Okay. I'm ready to eat. I am too. Like I said, I didn't, because I didn't realize it was only going to take us 20 minutes to get here the back way. Well, also you said that uh, Buck and Terry is not going to be till 6:30. That means they won't be here till like 6:45. Well, that that may buck, be, but it's buck time. Well, Terry said that he was going to get home and. You're right. You're right. We'll just wait and see what time he gets here. Okay, you lead on. I'll follow. Okay. Here we are at Old Hartville Kitchen. Hey, you don't have to stand out here and wait on me. You said you had to uh, hit the head, didn't you? Yes, I did. Well, why don't you go ahead and Lena, just let me record a little Hartville Kitchen, and then by the time you're done, because that's going to take a good 15 or 20 minutes, Buck and Terry might be here. You want me to just meet you in there then? Yeah. Hey, uh, don't forget to wipe. Well, I'm not doing that. Oh, okay. Well, then don't forget to wash your wash your hands. Wash your hands, okay? Yeah, okay, I will. All right. How does it look, Gary? Looks pretty good, cuz. You gonna slam it down? I'm gonna eat it all. What'd you get? Roast beef? Roast beef, mashed potatoes, gravy, and... Um, sweet potatoes? Sweet potato casserole. I almost got the sweet potatoes, but once again, I'm still watching my sugar intake, so... What, what'd you get, Terry? I'm sorry, I didn't know you had your mouth full. Buck's got his roast beef, carrots, corn, sweet potatoes. Let me know if the sweet potatoes are any good, because if they are, the next time I come here, I'm going to get some. They're very good. They're very good. What'd you get? I got shrimp, JoJo's, and I had a salad. Are, are, are you going to have dessert, too? I don't know. If, you don't, if you're not going to get dessert here, are you going to go into the bakery or the candy store and get it? I thought I'd have some of your candy from the bakery. Uh, you almost caused me to drop my camera. Um, I'm going into cardiac arrest. What candy? You're not talking about my Ben Hagee's, are you? I am. Cuz, what do you think about that? I think she's taking a big risk. She could lose a finger. I think finger you're finger taking a yeah. real big risk. I told you I've almost run aground with my Ben Hagee's. I'm going to have to lay in some more, and the money is just rapidly dwindling. I bet. That's not true, Buck. I, I brought a lot. This dumb thing just went out of focus for some reason. I brought a lot more than I'm going to wind up spending. 
Good, you're talking better than the other way around. You got that right. All right, I learned my lesson from dude's escapade. You remember that. Okay, enough of this. I'm putting it away so we can eat in peace. I just wanted to record for posterity's sake our meals at Hartville Kitchen. Oh, I forgot. See what you got. I had my usual chicken, mashed potatoes, corn, and coleslaw. And of course, sun kissed diet orange. Bye, Terry. Tim said he loves these 3D pictures. And that's exactly what they are, 3D. Those are real shadows. Those shadow, shadows haven't been painted. The boy loved this farm scene, so if I make a copy of this DVD for him, he'll be able to see it. Here at old uh, Hartville Kitchen. A dream unusual of its kind. It gave me peace and blew my mind and now I'm... Hey, I'm not sure, but that straw might be real. Okay, time to blow this popcorn stand. Yeah, I know it sounds like uh, I have my needle in a groove, stuck in a groove. It is Wednesday, September 24th, 2008. Uh, I still have, let's see, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. So I still have six days staring me in the face, and this has been a great vacation. And that's the way the sky has looked ever since I touched down last Thursday. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, and now into Wednesday. And that's the way it's looked. We'll probably get up, uh, I guess they're saying it's in the high 70s. Again, this is Tim's backyard. I'm getting ready to take off in just a second. That's Tim's uh, pole barn back there where he keeps his cars and stuff that he works on. But anyway, I can't believe how fortunate I have been on this vacation because it is... And believe it or not, as I've said, this weather is supposed to hold through the weekend and into the first part of next week. I brought two jackets. I've never even put them on. Shorts and shirts. That's it. Of course, Terry had to wear my jacket a couple of times because she has ice water in her veins. That girl would not do well on, well, I was going to say on your ropa, but that would be kind of stupid. Okay, time for me to head over to Sam's Club and see if I can get some gold toe, toe socks. Then I'm going down to see Nance Maxwell, her horses, hopefully to have a horseback ride, and then uh, I'm going out to eat with their family. That's the plans that I have for today. Catch you later, folks. Ah, there's that fine rental vehicle, but that's not why I turned the camera back on. I forgot to tell uh, everybody in the viewing audience, and I know everybody's pumped and excited to hear today's stats. 9.12 miles uh, in less than 2 hours and 15 minutes. Only took it up to 2.5 on the grade, though, because my feet was my feet were bothering me that's why I'm gonna go see if I can find some gold toe socks with a, a little more uh, cushioning 9.12 miles I have not gained a pound and uh, in the five days I've up here I will five days I've been up here I will admit that I have sucked down five pounds of candy from Ben Hagee's and I gotta go down uh, probably tomorrow and replenish I've run aground and now I have to restock Mmm, it was so good. You know it, David and Renee. One of your all-time favorite parks, the Gorge. How many times did we come up here and hike and then go over to Swenson's for burgers and fries? Now, I don't have time to walk the whole trail today because I have to leave here in an hour to go down and see uh, Nancy Maxwell, but this is it. Gorge Metropolitan Park up in Cuyahoga Falls and I'm about ready to hit some trails. I know what you're thinking, Gary, how can you hit trails after doing 9.12 miles just an hour or so ago? Ah, it's all in the jeans. It's all in the jeans. Plus, I love it. 
Looks like I'll pretty much have the trail to myself and that's the way I like it. I don't know if they still do it or not, but this area in the winter they used to fill it with water, let it freeze, and then anybody that wanted to could come out here and ice skate. And uh, they would also have the uh, metal barrels where they would build bonfires and you could come and warm up. Now we never did that. We used to go to bog. well Carol and I went to Bogany and that was before the kids were born. Ah, uh, you don't have terrain like this in Florida, that's for sure. Yep, there's no way to show it on this uh, camera. It's not high def, but those cliffs are way over my head. I'd say at least a hundred feet from where I'm standing. Good old-fashioned rock. Ohio rock. Midwest Ohio rock. Oops, sounds like somebody's uh, sawing a tree. Wish I had enough time to hike all the way down to Mary Campbell Cave. The kids always loved that. But unfortunately, I don't. It is so beautiful here. Roots to a huge tree. Looks like they're growing right out of the uh, stone. But uh, we all know that those roots are down into the ground. And I'm telling you, that tree is humongous. Well, you can tell from the size of the trunk. I have to admit, I'm starting to lament. I wish I had uh, three or four hours to stay in this park instead of uh, one hour. The River of Flame, the Cuyahoga, one time so polluted it actually caught on fire. I think they've cleaned it up since then. Well, time for me to move on down the trail. See what I can see. I don't remember too much about this trail. It's been so long since I've been on it. I see they've done a nice job of maintaining the boardwalk. Uh, I'm heading down this way to the dam. I see, I can hear the water flowing over the dam. Now I'm going to go down and uh, check it out. When I was a kid, I used to come here and walk across that pipe which is really kind of stupid because it's about a 25 or 30 foot drop into the ravine if you lose your footing but what do kids know would I walk on it now no way Jose Hear that waterfall? I'm almost to the bottom of the dam. In fact, all I have to do is walk down these steps and I'll be there. You know, I didn't realize what they've done and uh, come to think of it, I said maintaining this walkway, I guess maybe it wasn't here when we were coming. But anyway, you walk down, I'm going to show you, you used to be able to walk right out to the river, but they've changed that. They blocked it off and they built this observation deck. And you can't walk out next to the river anymore. In fact, you used to be able to walk across the stones in the river when the water wasn't high.
There's the water coming down the dam. And I'll tell you what, it's moving fast. And you used to be able to go right into the river right there. But they've got it blocked off. You can't get down there anymore. Now I'm standing up on a cliff that's overlooking the river and I have to admit I'm a little nervous because the drop off is about 75 or 80 feet and I'm kind of close to the edge which is right there. That water is churning. really changed a little bit over the years. I actually don't remember the uh, the trail coming this close to the edge of this cliff. There's my foot. We swing out past this rock and there straight down. This is kind of dangerous. I'm going to get away from the edge of this cliff. Ah, that's more like it. That's where I was standing right there. And that, like I said, uh, right by those trees, a little bit beyond it. Big time drop off. Didn't like it. Made me kind of nervous. But it is so beautiful. Well, I think I'm going to move on down this trail and see what I can see. Well, I know what I'm going to see. Trees, rocks, and ground. And a lot of them. You know, I'm really kind of amazed. Here I am at the trail, and look what feeds right into the trail. A pipe that goes across the gorge. They don't have it fenced off. They don't have any warnings or anything. Now, uh, let's go see what the drop is below that pipe. Yeah, that's a pretty healthy drop straight down onto stone. I'd say it's 25 or 30 feet. I mean, that gives you some idea. And that's really pretty dangerous. And you know how kids are. I know that they, well, I'm just surprised that they don't have that blocked off. And then that little gorge feeds the river. That water's still moving pretty, uh, pretty quickly. I like it. Then there's a bridge over the little gorge I just showed you. And on the other side comes out, there's a path. That's where I'm heading. This is really pretty cool. I'm standing on that bridge. I have these, uh, st hey, there's a chipmunk up there. I don't know if I got it, but there was one up there. That's uh, a good hundred feet over my head. And then you come down into the gully. You can probably hear the water trickling a little bit. Man, this is, this is cool. Okay, now there's the water that's flowing under the bridge that I'm standing on. Now check it out. Then on the other side, this is the water that's flowed under the bridge and into that little gorge that I told you about where there's the pipe and then it drops off another 50 feet or so and flows into the river yep that's pretty cool ah uh, you guessed it fans since there's nothing to stop me 
I think I'm going to have to hoof it across this pipe. If there's no more footage after I turn this off, you'll know I didn't make it. What do you think? Do I have the balance? I think I do. All of you that know me knew that I was going to make it over that pipe. Here's the footage that you've been uh, waiting for. I wish I could have filmed me walking across that pipe, but I couldn't figure out a way to do that. I better check the time because uh, I think I'm going to have to be leaving this park pretty soon. Yeah, this is one thing I really miss. Stone cliffs. Water is washed cut through there. Made that little gorge, but uh, I do miss stone cliffs. I don't see too many of those uh, down south. Well, I did check the time, and uh, I've got about 20 minutes to walk back to the car, and it's going to take me that long. So uh, this will be it for the gorge where David and Renee used to love and come and hike. Chignich Cook and Pathfinder. And of course, they always had their hiking sticks. Well, obviously, that tree didn't make it. Straight down towards the river. That is some serious water power going over that falls, let me tell you. Alright, time to get back to the car. Now, maybe I am kind of dreading this. I didn't mind walking down these steps, but I don't think I'm going to be looking forward to the climb back up them. The water's a lot calmer up here at the top of the dam before it flows over. Ah, this is just about it for me. I'm almost back to the car. Gorge Metro Park, Cuyahoga Falls, Ohio. September 24th, 2008. Check it out. They built a floating dock where you can actually come right out into the water. There's the dam right there. And there's where the water is going over the dam. Cuyahoga River. And look at those trees. They, they're everywhere. They're just flat out everywhere. I hate to admit it, but uh, I'm perspiring a little bit. Okay, GL, you've got enough of the gorge. Let's get out of here. Yep, I think you're right. We are out of here. No more shots from the gorge. Yes, I realize that uh, this is no longer uh, Gorge Metropolitan Park. The venue has changed. I am now at uh, Cypress, not Cypress, Congress Lake country club. Brandon and Nance have rented a boat and we're going out on the lake. As you can see, it's still a beautiful day. Congress Lake Country Club, uh, Nance and uh, her family live right across the street from this place. It's absolutely beautiful. And uh, here's the uh, south end of the clubhouse. I'm walking around to the back. They're going to pick me up in the boat at the uh, at the dock behind the clubhouse. I can't believe the weather I've had. 
Well, I didn't see them at the dock, so I'm assuming that they're going to be coming down the canal from the boathouse, and uh, they'll come down this way, and then they're going to uh, to pick me up. Man, it's so quiet and calm and serene here. This is the uh, bridge that we took to get to the parking lot by the clubhouse. And of course they'll go out this way to the main lake, swing over to the right, and uh, they'll pick me up on the dock. Should work out perfect. All right, here comes here comes my ride. Okay, here I am at the back of the clubhouse, and I see my ride is waiting for me, so I better get cracking. <laughs> Are you going to be at the helm? Hi, Captain. You're going to be at the helm. You're the captain. Hi, uh, Nance. I have a feeling that maybe I better go back to the car and wait for you guys to finish this boat ride. You're probably safe. Is your insurance paid, Gary? Uh, no it's. Problem, I could be in deep do, <laughs> deep do do. <laughs> All right, I was able to get into the boat, Brand safely. safely. Brandon's at the helm, and here we go, Congress Lake. Do the back end first and work our way around. You'll see the back end and then we'll go around and watch, see them from the front. Oh, bubbles. <laughs> I certainly hope that's not a beer. Yeah. It's soda? Root beer. Okay, as long as it's soda, then I feel like I'm in pretty good shape. <laughs> what, do you, what do you say? <laughs> I say... I don't know which would be better. Hey, should I be leaning back this far in this chair? I could be in the drink. I better sit up. As long as you were in the back, you might be in the drink. Up there, you're pretty safe. Yeah, but I'm leaning back in this chair. Yeah, well, this is true. Yeah, I, I, think, <laughs> I think I'm going to sit up. All right. Oh, it's around the bend up here. Can, can, you get, can you get us over oh. close to shore so we can see what it is that we're passing? It's all quarry. Is it? Well, you don't have to go right up to it, but get a little closer. See a golfer going up on, what is this? Okay, then see our swans up to the right, up to the left? Yeah, are they real? Oh, yeah. And if they've got sickage, we don't want to get any closer than this. They'll attack us. Who, the swans? Absolutely. That way. They're very mean. Those swans are mean, huh? Yes, they are. Boy, there are some beautiful homes out here. Oh, uh, they're All right, There's Macaulay's. Which one? Can you not tell? One. Oh, the one to the, the right? The tutor? Right there, I got yeah. it. Yeah, and it comes all the way over. They added that whole second half with the um, probably mid house over to the left was all added. The whole second story is nothing but ballroom. Nothing I but take it those people have some coin? Just a little bit. They, um, they were written up in Parade Magazine years ago. They have... Um, Hey, uh, when are we going to drop anchor and throw in a line? <laughs> Didn't know we were going to. I thought we were going to catch some of those fish for supper. Forget about Outback. Oh, well, good luck. I don't do my own fish. Neither do I, Nance. Neither do I. I was just being silly. There's the new one. Yeah. Out the west. I the, love that house. It's gorgeous. Just to the right, the light stone. Yeah. It's brand new. I love how the back of that house is glass. Behind the tree. It's all glass. 
Well, that's a beautiful house. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh man, that is gorgeous. We'll go back around and go from the front. That's my favorite house. But evidently they got a divorce in the middle of the build. They yeah. did? They ended yeah. up in it. Yeah. Did the woman get the house and is how old is she and is she good looking? I have no idea. <laughs> have no idea what happened. It, it, but now you can get a good view of the Macaulay's. There it is. To the to right. The right. The Tudor. Oh yeah, I already checked that one out. I even checked that out with Zoom. But I want you to find out if the uh, if the uh, ex-wife got the house, and if she did, I need to talk to her. Absolutely. Big time there's, I need to talk to there's her. There's three of the swans with a young signet with them, right down there. The younger one. Bubbles. Yeah, you got to let the boy avoid the seaweed. That's all there is to it. This is true. We had seven pairs of swans. And um, it was bad. The kids would be out in their little boats and fishing and stuff. And if uh -huh. they got anywhere near the babies, the swans would attack them. Now, these these uh, swans go almost five feet tall. My question to you is, do you, are they charging you by the time, or is it a flat fee and you keep it as long as you want? It's a flat fee, I think, because he didn't tell us what time to be back. So, What time is it? I have no clue. You don't have a, a cell phone? Yeah, I gotta dig it out. Now, right Hey, wait a minute, this, wait a minute. I see a boy out there that he's, he's trolling for his supper. Oh, uh, yeah. He's got a dog with him, too. Yeah, he does. The dog's on the boat. Can't read it. It's almost four o'clock. Gables, this used to be a port. What, so, what barn did you take apart? There's a barn right up through here. You took it apart and it said 1925? In the cement, they put it in there. And, and there was a car in there, and so Brandon was next, he was summoned down to check <laughs> it out, right? Right. No, we pulled the barn apart and redid it and rebuilt it and made actual stables out of them. Uh -huh. so there's horses up oh, there now. Is that where you keep your horses? No. Hey, are we going to have time so that I can at least go by and see your horses? Yep, we'll go by and check them out. Okay, I at least want to do it. Brandon, what about that dude you were supposed to hook up with? Oh, I'll call him back when we're done here. Oh, okay. That's not going to be a problem? Okay. Oh. Look at the front of these. You cannot even tell that it's the same house. N Nance, how much do these homes uh, r go for? Oh, that there's a couple of them that got for a couple million. I'm not surprised. That home is huge. Yeah. Like I said, we'll drive by them on the front side of them, too. My my God, the yard is as nice as the uh, fairways almost on the golf course. And those fairways are beautiful. Oh, yeah. I'm not sure what that is, if that's a jacuzzi pool or what it is that's hanging out there. But I don't know, but, like but, but I think the dude's wife wants to invite me in for a... You know, I see her in the window up there yelling, going, Gary, come here. You, you can't see her? Look and stop. Come up here. Oh, mercy. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> I love that house. What's not to love? The only like, that house is so gorgeous. Hey, why don't we uh, hook up with that pontoon boat and take the rest of the trip in pure comfort? Yeah. Oh, I see this dude lost a part of his tree here Whoa. during the windstorm. He sure did. Yep, that thing, uh, boy, it just blew right over. We had so much damage out here. This is that gray one, Brandon. What? This is the gray one. The gray one right here. Look, at you see those stones there? Yep. That's more stone than I've seen in the 15 years I've lived in Florida. <laughs> I'm serious. You don't see stone in Florida. Really? No, it's all sand. Oh. This is another real pretty one up here. I, this is the house I like. This white one up on the hill. Yeah. Oh yeah. When you see it from the front, it's beautiful. It's for sale. How do you see? How do you see it from the front? We'll drive around. There's a drive that goes. This is East Drive, and that's West Drive. It's for sale. 
Um, you go all the way around the front and it'll take you down to the end. Oh, these homes are monstrous. Well, that one's calling your name, Garrett, saying buy me, I'm for sale. Now, if I was still programming, I might be interested, but those days are over. This is Kofelt's, the yellow one here. Oh, look at the ducky. Aw. Where? In front of us. About one o'clock. I'll get him whenever I get up there. I like to keep the sun at my back. There you go. I'm very good at keeping the sun at my back. Kofelt's are selling? I think I see some Thanksgiving dinner over there, <laughs> is what I think. They heard you. <laughs> that bothered them, did it? I think so. They flew pretty quick. I'd love to see the inside of that house with that bay window there in the back and how they're all... These are, Gary. these are some nice boat houses. Yeah, they are. We have some friends on the other side of the lake that's got a huge, huge boat house. But the little gold yeah. ring you wear on your hand makes me under. He's got an elevator in his house. He does? Yes. Why, does he have trouble getting up steps or? No. He it, just, just had... That's the way they bought it. Is that where the lake ends right back there? I don't know. Yeah. Is it? There's kind of a little... And then it's, um, the top part of the Congress of the um, clubhouse is all rooms. And if somebody has a guest that comes in. Hey, goose it for a second. I want to check out that wake. Man, this boat is flying across Congress Lake. <laughs> what we just did? What did we hit? I think it was the cans falling. The train's coming. I heard it. It's right there. It's right there. There's the tracks. That's the boys. Okay. I was mistaken. This is the house of the people that bought ours. Which one? That white one there? The gray one gray and white and if they get a house here and they redo it yeah they have to preserve at least one room and have at least one room that was a natural room from the other house is that right they ended up they were going to redo <laughs> they were going to redo everything except like the bottom yeah but they ran into some problems something exploded hot water tank Something. Yeah. The only thing they preserved was a teeny tiny little bathroom. Well, at least they preserved something. They preserved something. All right, we're coming back in. There's the back of the clubhouse, Congress Lake Country Club. We're in a no wake zone, so Brandon uh, had to slow it down a little bit, which is which is okay because now I don't have to worry about any noise from wind. Don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Right? <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you what, this is just a beautiful setting. Isn't it though? It really is. On to your right. Thank you. Would you say please keep hands and feet inside the vehicle at all, all times? times? You can see little bubbles coming up from all the little fishies. There's, uh, by, over by our house, you well, you keep, which way did you come? From 619? From 619, yeah. All right, there is a house that sits right on the course. And that's the one you see directly right about 3 o'clock. Uh, that was probably the dude that was replacing some windows. Other way, Mom. Oh, 9 o'clock. Uh, that was probably the dude that was replacing the windows. Replacing the windows? Yeah, it was, uh, that's the, the house on the golf course. Oh. Golf balls. All right. Where are you going? 
Not us. Can we take it, Pete? There's nobody here. No, you Oh, come on. Tell him, say, we put it on the dock for you. Yeah, just leave it there and we can have our uh, appetizer now. Absolutely. Are you as hungry as I am? Yes, I am. Look at somebody's slipper. Their water socks. Okay, slow. Is that too fast for you, Gary? No, this is beautiful. Okay.